Hey Capricorn, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the month of January 2024. So let's just jump right in and see what this month has to offer you. And this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And this is a general reading, so just keep that in mind. Alright, so we have the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So um, I feel like this week, or sorry, this month could be about defining something and turning an uncertainty into a certainty. Uh, basically just kind of getting very clear on something that has been confusing or worrying you for some time. Um, I feel like you're focusing on your future, where you want to expand, um, the things that you want to invest in. And I feel like overall, you're going to feel a lot more um, sure about the future once um, the end of January rolls around. So we have the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Lovers, which is Gemini. Maybe some of you are connecting to a Gemini, um, or maybe just in the area of your relationships, there's something really important happening that you feel is going to only transform more once more time passes. Um, you could also be looking at your finances, maybe your budgeting or looking at your savings and thinking about how to improve that or what you um, need to focus on when it comes to your finances in order to feel financially secure and comfortable in the long run. Ace of Wands, your perspective about something seems to be changing as well. And Three of Wands, again, expansion seems to be a um, key focus for you this month. But let's look at each card individually and let's start out with the Lovers. All right, Seven of Cups. Um, there could be a lot of things that you still are trying to figure out about your relationship. Maybe there are some things that you um, are trying to fix and maybe there is things that you need to get used to, especially this is a new connection. For the most part though, I think there's going to be an opportunity to heal something um, in this connection. We have the Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. So it feels like whoever you're connecting to, they could be um, still going through something or healing from something from their past. Um, and that seems to be opening up a window of opportunity to heal this very thing. Um, it feels like somebody could have been repressing something for a very, very long time. And now it's up in the air. It's kind of out in the open. I feel like this could be the month of making that the opportunity to finally work through this together. Um, I feel like there are multiple options to overcome this however maybe the person you're connecting to just hasn't been able to see that and so i feel like you bringing in your own perspective on this could kind of help them realize that they are not alone in healing this thing so it feels like you could be um making a huge impact on someone's journey this month when it comes to relationships or connections let's clarify the four of pentacles all right five of cups there could have been a financial loss maybe in the past or some sort of loss in general that has made you think differently about your finances or the want, the things you want to do in the future. Maybe some of you are more serious about making a commitment to something that before was simply an idea. Maybe part of you is kind of like, you know what, this loss or this situation that I went through in the past has really taught me a lot about what I want to focus on in the future. And so moving forward, you're really taking that inspiration and doing something with it. We have the Three of Cups, the Seven of Cups finally came out, and the High Priestess. You're following your intuition when it comes to the things that you want to do for yourself, but you're also kind of recognizing that sometimes we do need to make sacrifices for the people we care about, um, and you're finding the balance between the two. How do I satisfy my needs while also being a part of this, you know, family or a part of this friendship? How do I do both? How do I figure out a way to... Um, still connect to myself while also maybe not limiting myself to some things in life that do bring me happiness and do bring me peace it's like you're not wanting to lose something again maybe or you're recognizing how much something matters to you and so now that you're um, looking at this you're kind of like i want to protect this as much as possible moving forward all right let's clarify the ace of wands All right, we have the death card at the bottom of the deck. You could be connecting to a Scorpio. Um, I feel like your perspective about endings is changing. For some reason, it feels like there could be something in your life, maybe a cycle that is coming to a close. Um, and as this new year begins, your perspective about that is changing. You're no longer um, rejecting it or 
um, refusing it, you're actually accepting the ending of something, maybe because you recognize that that is how you move forward and you embrace new beginnings is by allowing old ones to end. Um, so we have the King of Wands, the Sun, which is Leo, and the Four of Swords. I feel like happiness is going to come from you accepting the ending of something. And while before maybe that was a foreign concept, right now it feels like you're embracing that whole philosophy. You're coming, you're becoming very comfortable with the idea of change and even maybe doing things in your personal life that proves that you're comfortable with this maybe you're the one kind of initiating cycles ending like maybe you're the one kind of doing things to um, almost make it absolutely clear that you're not afraid of letting go of things that don't serve you and in fact you're now more focused on finding peace and happiness in your life so these things don't worry you anymore and now let's clarify the three of wands Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So again, you're feeling empowered to move forward with something here. It feels like there's something that it has inspired you um, and has really made an impact in your life from the recent past. And so you're using that to move you forward um, this month. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Five of Cups. Again, that same loss or that same energy of defeat is coming through to kind of remind you why moving forward um, is necessary or how you're moving forward is a testament to um, how you were able to overcome a loss or something like that. I just feel like the Six of Pentacles is you're bringing a balance. Whatever expansion is happening in your life at this time, Capricorn, it's bringing a balance, a drastic balance or something very big that's life-changing here for you. And I feel like um, you're finding strength in a situation that um, at one point gave you pain or some sort of you know more negative feeling and I just feel like you're finding power you're finding motive um, and meaning in something here and so you're moving forward with just like huge potential um, so really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and I will see you in the next one